have me to ask if there's another, another uh, speaker coming up. You're welcome to stay if you want to go outside. Item H, we have another uh, uh, audience with uh, Mr. Sean Munn and Mr. David Mizborski regarding all of our fairness uh, ordinance. Are you welcome to stand up where you are there, or if you like to come up to the table? Well, basically, I'll take you guys for the lesson you get here. Uh, I sent you guys a letter, so you guys had an idea of what you know, we were proposing. I think we've always seen that in the video. The pictures were off of my deck, and those were Olsen's very inside. After they were to be able to shut off. That answers the question. Is that a question about uh, whether the smoke was from an outdoor from or inside? Okay. Yeah. And, uh, you know, basically, we would like to see the dates either get you know, changed. Um, this is the second year that we've had smoke passing at first, we had to shut ours off. Um, you know, and they're still a to go after they first are up in all summer, you know, as far as that goes. So I don't really look at setting an earlier date and a later date or you know, even the dates in work. Have you been to the planning commission yeah. about this? As you said in several times. And what was the what was the consensus there and what was the process? Do they didn't want to go to the They weren't receptive to yeah. change the dates. Yep. Yeah. Okay. More so now, the recent approach to the Planning Commission makes clear that they don't have any, it's not in their purview to affect this work. It's not part of the zoning ordinance. Oh, which is why we, we set them up here, because so that's not really what we do. Okay. Oh. This, is our, this, is, this is the City Commission. This is the okay. um, and, and your request is to change the ordinance to eliminate the, the bookend. Uh, periods for when those when furnaces can't be operated out. Yeah. Yeah. And then when we're well, so we still have we still have snow and can't have water. We need all of us for that. <coughs> so you know, it's just second year we'll let it happen. Maybe maybe since you're since you're up here to remind us name for just a second Right now they're working on them. So, 
non ha davvero niente. Non posso dire dopo questo. Vorrei che Because we don't have a lot of background as to how these restrictions came about. And I have spoken to a couple of people who were involved in that, and they indicated that there, there were some serious concerns they had with these wood burning furnaces. Well, I'm just coming from a, I'm not speaking against you, I just need more knowledge and education. Mm -hmm. So I would like to know more before I would do anything. What, uh, Scott, do you have a recommendation for a procedure at this point? Or if you'd like uh, to uh, <coughs> staff take a closer, closer look at this, we could either bring something back to you or work with uh, the Pueblo City Commissioners maybe to craft something or look at the language. Um, go back and get a little more of the history on how we got to this point, because there was a lot of discussion um, between the Planning Commission and City Commission to get the ordinance in place. So if you wanted, we could do that and bring something back to the Commission. We have, we have our Planning Commission Chairman here. Uh, Don, was there, I remember that procedure we went through that whole process. Yeah, the, the process was pretty extensive. We took uh, industry regulations, we listened to the citizens themselves and people that already had existing systems. Um, we looked at spacing, we looked at lot structure throughout the city, where it might be admissible or not. We took in the many considerations you know, looking at all of the different uh, ordinances from other areas that had already constructed an ordinance and tried to um, be as, as comfortable with this and thorough as this is possible. Um, grandfathering in some of these, but they would have to at least come in and register the fact that they have them so we know where they are. We had several public hearings on it. Yeah, many public hearings on it. Yes. It went back and forth between the city commission and us for quite a while. That was a rough one. I remember the level of concern over smoke in the summertime. I mean, was well, it, some of the major issues were the closeness of the houses and the lowness of the stack, whether or not they were burning certain types of wood. And as conversation has gone with the Swarskis and many of the people that have come to the meetings and months and everybody, um, the type and style of wood that people were burning was of effect. What kind of smoke was caused or not caused. And uh, I guess it's a certain age of wood that these people are learning themselves in this whole thing and they're learning better and better and more efficient and so it comes out cleaner. There's always going to be, you know, with the weather inversions and things, we find that there's, there's going to be a cap and it's going to hold smoke in certain times. Unfortunately, that's just the nature of the game. And what he's talking about is, is not only affects them, but the weather also affects people that are burning it in their, in their wood inside the house. You know, because right. it's still emits. And it comes out, it goes up, and it comes down. <laughs> so so uh, stack height isn't necessarily the only thing that's particular because those are higher than many of these furnaces. But if they're doing things the way that their manufacturers recommend and they built their furnaces properly, it's supposed to be, you know, to be as efficient as it can be. But I, I believe the beds were, came with Matt Peterson at the time, came with Miles. Yeah. So I didn't have to go in higher. It's my yeah. opinion on how regular I was at. Well, maybe what we'll do is, is uh, if that commission feels that that's the course to take, is to have uh, staff maybe put together a little uh, committee to give a recommendation on where to go from here. Sure, we'll be right on. Report back to the city commission. Yes. So, uh, Okay, good. Yep. I understand. Mr. Mon, feel free to keep in touch with the city manager and uh, get your input in there. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. My turn. Okay. <laughs> John was very right, right on the money. We've, you know, we've learned how to burn them to accommodate our neighbors. I've never had a complaint on my some of my has, we, we, we educated him 
copper burning, how much to burn. And if it was to burn after the time that's now been recommended by anybody, I them just to light them and let them burn out. If you put only so much wood in while it's burning, it's almost smokeless. If you don't overfill it, it'll burn out. You won't even know it's burnt out. And by the time you shut it off, there's no ashes, there's no smoke or anything to irritate the neighbors. And, you know, the neighbors have a legitimate pitch when it comes to the smoke issue. But we feel over the last two years, because the regulations were so stringent, we, we simply watched and babysat our, our burners to the point where we're going to accommodate everybody. So by burning the aged wood, like John said, instead of green, which is more efficient, we're willing to spend a few dollars more not to make a nuisance to anybody. So the ordinance that we were put under was in Marquette, which was very, very difficult to meet them. You know, they, their neighbors are bumper to bumper, as you can say, we aren't. And the thing is, when it's raining, I'll light my fire. If it's blowing towards my neighbors, I won't light my fire. And if the windows are closed, if it's cold, what I do in the spring, even though it's, I can still burn mine, I light mine and let it burn out because I can still heat my house for two days after it burns out. So what we're recommending to anybody that has a wood burn is don't burn it continuously when the weather warms up and you won't irritate your neighbors. It's just like when you burn inside. You get your house too hot or too cold. If you, if you got it on, you can't stand it. When it burns down, it feels comfortable. When it's out, you're cold. So you relight it again. So you light it and let it go. You light it and let it go. So that's what we're trying to tell everybody that has a burner, light it and let it burn out. After the temperature gets down to the point where you're not getting heat out of the water, light it again, but don't put overfill it so it don't smoke. So, and I told uh, Merrick that I'd be willing to anybody that puts one in to tell them how we come up with how we burn ours, and I'd recommend it to anybody. I'll take the time to go over with them and, and help them, you know, because we don't want to be a nuisance and we don't want to be a pest to anybody that's burning inside. All we're just asking is to be realistic so we can use ours to an efficient point where we're not a nuisance, you know. And if somebody, if we, only, if I take the choice to burn mine and make my neighbor back, turn in the complaint to me. Then come over and warn me. It's not the time I can't burn it from this time. You know, at least have some, some. Let it be our fault that we can't burn, it, not somebody else's. But like this, I'll, I'll work with whoever it takes to, to get it to reasonable. You know, we're not asking to go after anybody or to go after anybody that's burning inside. We just want to be a reasonable burn time. Okay. Sounds like we're able to run it up the pipe pull it and see where it, where it falls and do a temperature process with the staff and, and take a look at it. So. Okay. Yes. Now, are you going to talk to some of the neighbors about this? I live about 300 feet from Mont's store. And I invite all of you to come to my house when it's burning. Uh, it's not a pleasant order, ever. I don't care what anybody says, it's terrible. Uh, Gene Clemens is my neighbor right across from me. He's only 200 feet from the stove. Some days you can't see his house from the smoke. Okay. This day, this it's just this terrible. Day. I mean, we had an ordinance. They had an ordinance. We had a last spring. We had it to the planning commission, and they decided to leave it as it is, that they can burn from May or from uh, October 1st till May 1st. Which isn't bad right now. We had a problem last summer with one of the neighbors. He burned it all summer. And we suffered. Right here, there, we have guys all over here that suffered. This, well, this, this, is, this is sort of the rem reminiscence of what I, what I remember in kind of this process that we went through. So we'll, 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 we'll take it uh, one step at a time and don't, don't feel that there's going to be any type of uh, rash decision made here. It's an ordinance that exists and it takes a process if it's, if it's going to be changed. But first we'll, we'll get some recommendations and see where it goes from there and we'll, we'll, keep, uh, we'll keep any changes or anything that's going to happen uh, out in the public light so you'll have an opportunity to comment on it if it goes beyond this point. Okay. So, yes. No, if I may say, you know, I can understand the gentleman wanting to burn his wood so 
uh, especially the way our economy is now nowadays and everything. But again, you know, looking back at all the smoke, and I don't know if it's a type of wood that they burn or what they throw in there, but you know, last summer was miserable for me. You know, you, you couldn't even open the windows, they got so bad. The stench was just like they were burning dead animals or garbage in, 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 in these uh, uh, wood stoves. Um, I don't know what the solution is um, to it all. Um, I'm happy if we can keep the dates that they have now for, for burning, but burning it in the summer, I, I just I just don't see a need for it. We're kind of having a mini public hearing here, and I think uh, in order to get through the meeting, I think we'll, what we'll do is, is I, 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 I sense that there's that this is a, we've known this to be a real controversial subject in the past, and, and what we're going to do is just take it one step, have have the staff and, and maybe a commissioner or two <coughs> relook at it, what you're proposing, and uh, if there's any movement on that, we'll make it very public so that. Uh, everyone can weigh in on it again. I can't we just let them see the pictures. Well, we have to breathe in after May 1st. Uh, well, we can do that as, it, as we go forward. But I don't think we can hash that out tonight. I think you, you, you've made your point and you've got your, a chance to get your point across. And I think we'll, 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 re, we'll respond to it and move forward. But we can't solve the problem tonight. Can I offer just one suggestion? Yes. It just seems like common sense to me. It would make more sense to have have it tied to the temperature outside as opposed to the date. So if you're burning when it's, it's too warm to be burning it, then, then you're in violation otherwise. Because you wouldn't have your windows open if it's cold out anyway. So that would be a lot less of a problem for anybody. That's a problem, but I think, I think uh, rather than going further on this, we're just going to get a ideas from the staff and, and maybe review some of the notes from the previous public hearings and things like that so we can get a little more background on on why this was created. And we're getting some good feedback tonight but I don't want to don't want to turn this into a public hearing right now. So appreciate all your comments and, and I'd like to move on to uh, old business uh, item five which is uh, to discuss and consider adopting the five year thanks for coming in. Discuss and consider adopting the five year capital improvement plan, which we just had uh, a couple of